cardiovascular symptoms. So what we're going to do is have to query the patient while we're doing this. We're going to ask about double vision, blurred vision, sensation of lightheadedness, near syncope. I'm not going to say to the person, or do you think you're nearly syncope? We're going to ask, do you feel faint? Do you feel lightheaded? Do you feel nausea? We're going to have to have them respond if we want to check them for dysarthria. And we need to be in front of them to look at their eyes to see if there's any nystagmus. We're not going to move the patient's head. You never want to take the cranium and move it above this, around the cervical spine. We're simply going to cue the patient and ask them to do it themselves. <clears throat> so I'm going to ask the patient, please tip your head back as far as you can comfortably. OK, there we go, good. Now rotate your head towards me. Do you see dead people? <laughs> OK, so we need to keep you there. I'm going to ask you about your vision. So find a spot to look at. Do you have blurred vision? No. Double vision? No. Lightheaded? No. Nausea? No. He's been speaking to me, so I don't think he's got to start through it, but I could say to him, count to five. One, two, three. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Right? He's got to start through it. Okay? There's no nystagmus. Find a spot. Keep looking at him. Good. Good. And come on back. Okay? Then we would, again, back rotate to the opposite side. So we want to keep them in each position for about 20 seconds. Okay? But remember, you're going to have to query the patient. Ask them. Blurred vision, double vision, nausea, feeling of faint. Also, when you bring them back down, ask them how they're feeling. Okay? Because sometimes you won't have the symptoms when they're back, but the symptoms will occur when they're down. Okay? All right. Ladies, gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs>